Hey everyone, in the news this week, Mystic Meg passed away, as people all across the land commented with, quote, she didn't see that coming. When asked about the funeral arrangements, though, the family said that, quote, a lady in black serving drinks might be there, and names John or Alice may be attending too. Saudi Arabia and Iran have restored diplomatic ties, although I won't be heading to either of those places anytime soon. I remember reading about a man out there who was caught stealing hand disinfectant, although I guess on the plus side he won't be needing hand disinfectant anymore. And talking about places with terrible human rights records, Xi Jinping was re-elected President of China with 2,952 votes to zero. EU fanatic Guy Verhofstadt tweeted about how it's an autocracy, although failed to mention about how many people had voted for the EU President, and I'm guessing Rishi Sunak is smart enough to keep his mouth shut. But the big story, of course, is Gary Lineker being sacked from Match of the Day this week after a tweet in which he compared the government's immigration policy to those of Nazi Germany. Right on cue, the internet went into meltdown with left-wing activists resembling those old crisp adverts of Gary's where Paul Gascoigne is crying excessively, if you remember it. In a sign of solidarity, Gary's co-hosts Alan Shearer and Ian Wright have also opted to stand back too, so in all honesty, this show might actually be worth watching for the first time in years. Perhaps if they do need a big household name to present it, the BBC could draft in David Cameron, who is currently unemployed and famously on record as being a massive footy fan, especially if it's West Ham playing, or Aston Villa, depending on which staff or what was briefing that morning. Many comparisons have been made to Jeremy Clarkson, who left under vaguely similar circumstances, though not by those Gary Lineker fans who were conspicuous by their silence when he was forced out for making right-wing rather than left-wing comments. It's actually worse than that, though, because a year ago there were demands by those people to sack Lineker after he tweeted a sexist joke about England footballer Chloe Kelly during the Women's World Cup. In part Partiality clearly only works one way. For me though, the funny part of it all is that the debate is solidifying the concept that Gary Lineker was fired as a BBC employee, and this is all at a time when he's in a court battle with a tax man over whether he's self-employed or not. On the line is five million quid, so as Mystic Meg might have said, quote, Someone in HMRC will be lucky tonight too. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.